I want to ask about um, Sarah J. You know, you, um, you 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 said that she stole um, uh, almost seven almost seven grand from you, and um, and I'm I'm wondering. So, uh, she didn't steal it. Youngberg did, but she she enabled that situation. Right. Okay. Well, um, I'm, are you able to explain what happened? Uh, she just, you know, she is a a manager, right? Mm-hmm. So. A producer manager should act in the best interest of producers, but given that the vast majority of her placements are unpaid, she takes 50% of the um, production credit Mm -hmm. and really could care less what happens after that point. Shows you that, in fact, she isn't working in the best interest of the producer. So um, with the Youngberg situation, Rather than acting as a buffer between the two of us, she just made the connection. When I needed help, she gave me terrible advice. Um, you know, send the session, send the session, hurry up, send the session. Trust me on this one. And the reason <laughs> was because this was one of those those rare situations for her where she was actually going to make a commission because it was a, a, a legitimate placement. Yeah. So I think she wanted, A, the money, obviously. Um, and B, she wanted added credibility to her brand because, you know, the second the Sarah J brand is connected to a producer actually producing a single or an official release, people are looking at her as much more legitimate than they would, given that the majority of her resume is all free mixtape releases. So she did not act in my best interest. Um, <laughs> she hasn't changed at all. I mean, mm-hmm. I've seen it, you know, but I'm, I don't interact with her. I can't, she's blocked me on all social media. So everything I say in my, in my rants about Sarah Jane in the past, you can look that up. It's all verifiable. It's mm-hmm. all screenshot based. It's not mm-hmm. just conjecture. I'm not just making that stuff up. And it's not just me talking about it. It's a lot of other people, everyone from the mechanics to, um, some names, I guess, I will say because a lot of people have approached me in private, but, you know, Grammy-winning producers um, and even producers on her own team have contacted me and said, yeah, she did this, this, and that. So I I made the choice to not work with her. And there was another situation that, that made me wonder about her. Um, mm-hmm. It was with Grand Hustle back when it was Grand Hustle, and I talked to... Um, a couple of staff members from Grant Hustle, including uh, DJ MLK, who said that she misrepresented her relationship with me and was giving them beats of mine well after I told her I didn't want to work with her anymore and was not only giving them the beats and saying, do whatever you want with them. And these are their words, not mine, because um, we had a little, a little Twitter confrontation about it but they they contacted me right away and just told me exactly what had happened yeah um and i was thinking ah, i couldn't be sarah j because we we broke ties you know nine ten months prior to that but she had said something to the effect of i already sold these beats so you can do whatever you want with them which doesn't make any sense you know mm-hmm. what what manager says that yeah. well, you, no one no one should say that in the music industry that's crazy but it, it made me wonder, did she sell the beats and just didn't tell me? So there was a lot going on with with her process that I had a that I had major problems with. Hmm. And you know, everyone has to do what they have to do. And if you think that that's a situation that um, you can gain from as a producer, by all means. Yeah. You know, pursue pursue a, a relationship with Sarah J. I, my experiences have all been negative. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it kind of sounds like you know she she still had um, hold of some of your beats and she was still shopping around to get a commission. I don't even think she's motivated by money though, because she's not she's not advocating for the producer to get paid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, she's not getting. No one's getting paid off these these so-called placements, which they shouldn't 
be called placements, honestly, because I was getting paid off them. They're just kind of mixtape placements. But right. if you check the credits, it's always produced by Sarah J and somebody else. And everybody knows she doesn't produce. Yeah. So it's just brand building for her. She wants her name out there. I don't know what her end goal is, but maybe she doesn't either. I don't know. But she gets her name out there and... Her brand is built up, and that's a conflict of interest because if you're an actual producer manager, then your interest lies in the producer's interest, yes, not not the other way around. Yeah, but um, yeah, it just it just seems like um, her whole brand is yeah is just not really managing, but yeah, like uh, I guess semi managing and just shopping beats, and it's not really a manager. <laughs> yeah, it's it's um. The term I've heard is beat broker. Okay. It's kind of a person who sends emails out. Sure. And that just kind of stops there. But yeah. it's not management. It's not organization. It's not logistics. You know, being a manager is difficult. Mm-hmm. You know, my manager, uh, my old manager used to, I, I'll put it this way. When something bad would happen, he was on the phone cussing people out. Yeah. He was, you know, really standing by me. And really advocating on my behalf, and, and really, and you know, telling people no. And then he called me up and say, "Look, man, I'm sorry, this didn't happen, but it wasn't the right thing for you. This is why, you know." So, so I knew that he gave a, a damn about my interest and my future and my career. It wasn't just all about, you know, his name because he didn't, you know, he's working off commission. So yeah, the the the, the bigger the, the situation for me bigger the commission for him that's mm-hmm. kind of how that that works you know agents don't become bigger than than the people they um they represent yeah no one knows who uh vin diesel's agent is no. they know who he is though his agent's doing well though mm-hmm. obviously absolutely yeah and i'm sure you've got um your better management now you know after you know a bad situation like that i'm sure you've taken care of things um i don't have management Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised by that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. 